everyone, it's Jessica, and today I have a collab video with my friend Kirsten. I remember her watching her videos way before I had ever started a channel, and let's see, I think I discovered her through Shades of Cassie, and I watched a video of Kirsten's and I was like, this girl is a kook and I love her. She's so goofy and silly, but yet totally real and down to earth and like super honest and it's just lovely and it's so rare here on YouTube to find people like that so I think that's why I just latched onto her and I was like I love this woman she has done this video before and it's called four or more and it's basically where you feature makeup products that you have bought four or more of um, of course the idea being that if you've bought four of something then you must really really like that product not just for a certain shade but specifically because of the formula or the way it wears or whatever it is it's clearly a product that you really really love so I was going through my collection I thought I don't think I have that many things where I have four more of and I was surprised now some of this stuff I bought with my own money some was sent to me um, from friends so and you'll see especially for a lot of the lip products a lot of it was sent to me from friends Which is why I have more than four of them However, they're ones that I think even if they hadn't been sent to me I would have eventually bought more than four of them because I love them. So let's go ahead and get started Let's start with brushes because that was one I almost forgot to mention. I thought I should mention this so first of all the elf studio line of brushes I own one two three four five six of I might own more but these were the first ones I found that were actually on my vanity that I'm using every day. So the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush I use all the time for highlighting because it's just a really nice brush. And these are all $3. The e.l.f. Complexion Brush I love using for blush because of the shape. It's a little bit flatter and then, oh I just love it, and then it fans out. I actually used it today for blush. Then the stipple brushes, they have the small and the... Um, regular stipple brush. These are so awesome for cream bronzer, like for contouring and cream blush. And that's exactly what I use them for. You can kind of tell I need to wash them. But again, these are fantastic stippling brushes. And then also the Flawless Concealer Brush I use um, to set my under eye with powder. When I do that, I always use this one. And then I also use this small smudge brush for uh, cream liner every single day. I use this all the time. And actually, I've repurchased this one a few times because I lose these all the time. These are fantastic, and if anyone were ever asking what brushes I would recommend if you're on a budget, these, because they are, even if you're not on a budget, they're so good. Then I would also, in the realm of e.l.f., their essential line, which is their dollar line, their brushes, I love their eye brushes. I've tried a few of the face brushes, and I'm not, I didn't love them, and I haven't tried all of their face brushes, but their eye brushes are great. I really love the, what is this one called, the blending eye brush. I use that for the crease almost every single day. This I use for the outer corner, it's their defining eye brush. And then, oh I have two of those. <laughs> that's right, that's how much I love that one. <laughs> and then the smudge eye sponge, I don't use this every day but it's great. Um, if you've got shadow it literally is a sponge and you can just kind of smudge it underneath. Or if you've lined your under eye and you want to smudge it out, or any part of your eye, you can use this and it's a great tool. And those are only a dollar, so I love those. And then lastly for brushes are the Sigma ones and I mentioned them and I wasn't gonna because I know a lot of you guys are like they're so expensive and that's why sometimes I hesitate to mention them but they're worth mentioning because they really are good for foundation and that's basically if you see I own five brushes and four of them are for you know foundation-y type products and that's what I use them for when we're in the realm of you know powders like blushes and stuff I really do use my elf ones for that but this one, which needs to be cleaned, is one of my favorites. The Taper Kabuki is the bomb for blending out concealer. Oh my gosh. And every day that I use it, I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, it's so flawless. There's no weird crusties. There's no, it doesn't blend it so it's completely gone. It is amazing. So that's how I achieve like a full coverage concealer look. It's this brush. I'm telling you. Oh. It's so amazing. And then I also love, this is the F80, which I like for foundation, and I also like the F82. It kind of depends on the foundation, which one I like to use for. And then the Angled Kabuki F84, I haven't used as much lately, but this is also good for foundation. And then this is their Precision Round Brush, it's a smaller one. Great, again, for concealing, especially for spot concealing. Okay, enough about brushes, Jess, that's enough. I gotta get these out of the way. I'm gonna run out of space on my little table here. <laughs> so, in the realm of lip products, I 
have recently been branching out to brighter colors and you'll see that in these collections because I have a, a pretty wide range. One of the things I'm going to mention, I just stuck in here to store them while they're on the table. These are the Maybelline Color Whispers and these I've bought a few myself and then my friend Amber sent me a lot of these and the one that I bought myself I think was Lust for Blush, although I'm pretty sure I've had two of these so she might have sent me one as well. This one is... It's the most perfect natural everyday color, is it not? Are you kidding me? It's perfect. You can use it without a mirror and yet your lips just look healthy. They really look so healthy with all of these color whispers. And I think that's what I love so much about them. And then they have like brighter colors. There's um, Who Wore It Redder and Pin Up Peach. This is Who Wore It Redder. Isn't that beautiful? It's kind of like a pinkish red, which I think is just one of my favorite shades when it comes to lipstick, especially when I want something more punchy. Strike a Rose is another favorite. That one, I'm going to put it next to um, Lust for Blush. This is, um, what did I just say this is called? This is Strike a Rose, and that's Lust for Blush. Those are my two favorite, I think, in the entire line, just because they're so wearable and useful for every day. I also have Ula Lilac, which is very, it's a light color, but it's certainly a very cool tone, bluish pink, you know? So it, you kind of got to think about your skin tone and whether it would le look good or not with your skin tone. I'm not sure how I feel about this one with my skin tone, to be honest, so I really don't wear it very often. This is Coral Ambition, and that is Petal Rebel there. Another light pinkish one. Coral Ambition's beautiful. I can't wait to wear that. It's technically spring now, but it doesn't feel like it here. But regardless, did I swatch all of them? I'll go ahead and swatch Pin Up Peach because that's another favorite of mine. That's Pin Up Peach. So it's a little darker than Coral Ambition, you can see, but they're both kind of peachy, corally toned. So, wow, that's a lot of swatch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I own seven of those, and I have seven swatches. Yay, I did it. So I really, if you're looking for something that's just a great addition to your purse, because these are my favorite things to carry around with me, because while I might not use them necessarily always, like for videos when I want a more brighter lip, these are the most perfect makeup items for every day. Oh man. Okay, move on, move on. Okay, more lip. So I have fallen in love with the Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquers and I have four of them. Two of these I purchased myself and two were sent to me in a influencer box like I won a Rimmel badge or something like that. So I'll go ahead and show these to you. So these are the swatches. There's Celestial, Nova, Apocalyptic, and Big Bang. They're just beautiful. I, I see that those two and those two kind of look similar to each other, but they are different tones. Certainly gorgeous. They're very, they really, a lip lacquer, that's exactly what they are. They're very um, pigmented. They're very kind of juicy and glossy. They dry to a little bit less of a glossy finish, I think, on my lips at least they do. But I think they're beautiful. They do have a smell to them, so that's something to keep in mind, but I love them mostly for the color payoff. That's the main thing. I think they wear off pretty well throughout the day too. So I just think they're gorgeous. And my favorite way to use these, if not alone, is over another lipstick. So it just really adds that punch to it. The next lip product that I have four more of is the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. Now I have two from their original line, which this, there is, let's see, Cherish and Honey. Cherish is a more recent purchase for me. It's a very... It almost doesn't even show up on my skin. It's a very light blue toned pink. And then there's Honey, which is one of my favorites. So there is Cherish and there is Honey. These are great because they really do stay in your lips. They stay on for so long. Even after the kind of like glossy, not glossy, but shiny finish is gone, they're, the color is there and it's so nice. Then two of their lacquer balms, which this one is in Whimsical. And this one, the lacquer balms are shiny, basically. That's the main point. And they also have matte balms. I don't own any of those. This one's in Demure. Okay. So there's Demure, and there is Whimsical. Whimsical actually has glitter. No, both actually have glitter in them, which really is a letdown because as the color wears off, these don't stain the same way that the original ones do. So as the color wears off, the glitter is left behind. So that really is a letdown because I love those two colors, but I find myself not reaching for these as often as I reach for these just because of that glitter ending. Ugh. So I also have a lot of these Sonia Kashuk lipsticks, and what I'm wearing on my lips today is one of these. So I have exactly four of them. I love, you can probably hear the packaging scratching. Hold on, let me see if I can, there we go. I love these. My friend Amber actually sent me these, so I, had, I did not buy these with my own money, however, 
I am constantly looking at these and thinking about buying even more because I reach for these all the time. So the colors I have are, let me swatch these, nude pink, which is this kind of nude pink color, right? And then there's also blushing, which is another nudie color, but it's an even more pink toned. That's nude. That's nude pink. This is blushing. So they are, for nude colors, they are still a little bit darker, more pigmented, or, I, no, I guess I should say deeper. This one's rosette, which is what I'm wearing on my lips right now, right there, and I'm wearing it right now. It looks, yeah, that actually does match pretty well. And then the last one I have is classic red. Now this one, oh, perfect. You can actually see, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see, there's a little SK etched in it, kind of the way Tom Ford lipsticks are in it. When you originally get it, there's the SK for Sonia Kashuk etched into the lipstick. It's so cute. So this one I haven't, clearly haven't worn as much. I love this because it is a blue toned red. Look how beautiful that is. I think I'm going to pull this sucker out and wear it more often. Maybe I'll wear it in my next video um, because it really is absolutely gorgeous. What I love about these lipsticks is that they're so <sighs> moisturizing. When you put them on, it just feels so good. It's like the pay, pay off of a really, really like matte and super saturated lipstick but it has a little bit of moisture to it, and I guess it's not matte, so I don't know why I said that. But it's, it's not too far from being matte. I love these lipsticks, and they kind of smell like, hold on, that smells like a baby wipe, because I was just, yeah, they have a slight vanilla scent to them. They're just absolutely fantastic. I love these, so if you see them, and you see that there's a coupon on Target.com for Sonia Kashuk, try one. I swear you won't be disappointed, I love them. So the, I think this is the last lip product that I'm going to mention are the Revlon Lip Butters. And these, <laughs> there was such a hoopla when these first came out, like, what, a year, two years ago, whenever it was. And I own six currently. I've given some away because I had so many, and some of them are colors I'd never wear. I gave some to my sisters. But I have six, so this is what they look like if you don't know. They're adorable. So let me show you these real quick before I forget what they are. This one's Peach Parfait, which is one of my favorites, but it does have a little bit of glitter in it. So again, but it's the prettiest shade. I love the way it looks on my lips, and I've owned like, I think three of these. I fly through Peach Parfait. Then there is, uh, why can't I remember these? Sweet Tart, which is a nice pink shade, and then Wild Watermelon. And then here I've got Berry Smoothie, which is my one of my favorite fall lip colors. Sorbet which is a brighter pink, and then, what was this last one called? Juicy Papaya, which is such a fun coral color for spring. Ugh, I'm making a mess though. So these are just super moisturizing, nice, I would say a nice color payoff, but they are a little more sheer, so you can kind of work with them. Um, and that means, of course, too, since they are a little more sheer, they're gonna look different on everyone, depending on your own natural lip pigmentation. So it's another thing to keep in mind. I love the way, um, I think my two favorite, if I had to pick two favorite, are Peach Parfait and Berry Smoothie. Peach Parfait is my favorite like all year round, especially spring and summer, and then Berry Smoothie I love in the fall and winter. So I love these two, but I love all of them. All right, moving on from lips. Wow, that was a lot of lip. <laughs> all right, so blush. The only blush that I own more than four of are dun, 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 the Tarte, what are they even called? See, they're the Amazonian Clay 12-hour blushes. I own four. I own three full size and one like trial size. This was the first one I got, and a lot of times you can see these. I got this with their bronzer, the Park Avenue Princess bronzer, which I actually use today. That's one of my favorite. Um, in a set for like $15 total for both of them. And even though it's mini, it's more blush than you're going to use. I mean, it's going to take you a while to use this up even still. So this one is in the shade Doll Face, and these are so... Just like, see, I don't think these are going to swatch very well, to be honest. Well, they might. I got like traces of lipstick left over. That's doll face there, this beautiful light pink. It's just so innocent and fresh, and that's why I fell in love with it in the first place. So then today on my cheeks, I'm wearing Exposed, and that is a cult classic. And when I first bought it, because I was like, I just got to try it. I'm dying to know what it's like. When I first bought it, I was like, okay, what is, you know what, this one's not swatching well, so just look at it on my cheeks. When I first bought it, I thought, why? It seems like such a boring color, except for, I think it almost transforms itself, depending on your skin tone, to being the perfect, just kind of 
neutral shade. It just looks good all year round with any eye look. You don't even have to think about it. You just put it on and it always looks good. And the thing about these blushes is they last all day. So the next one is Blushing Bride. And this is a really deep and it has gold flecks of sparkle in it. I will swatch this one. I'm going to swatch <laughs> these swatches are ridiculous. Look at that one. It's just a beautiful kind of berry wine color, but it does have golden flecks, so that's another thing to keep in mind if you know you're not gonna like that. But I've never noticed that the, it looks weird or glittery, and it wears off fine throughout the day. It doesn't even wear off throughout the day, honestly. These really do stay on all day. And then Charisma, and this is one I haven't reached for as often. I think it, for me, it's almost too warm of a color for my skin tone, there it is. It's a beautiful color though, and I need to, maybe I'll try and pull these out in spring and summer and make myself wear this one know why I haven't reached for it as often as the other ones. So they're all, like I said, they're expensive, but a lot of times Tarte will have on its website like 30% off every few months. And I try and post it on my Instagram when there's sales like that. I almost always post it on there so you guys know, because that's usually how I find out about them from people I'm following on Instagram. So that's how I got these and I got a really good deal on them because it was like 30% off and I think I also had another coupon code or free shipping or something. So I love these blushes. They're worth every penny. So, moving on to eyes. I think the rest of this is all eyes and then there's some nails to talk about. This is gonna be a very long video, I'm so sorry. All right, so, for eyes, I own four of these color tattoos. Now, my fourth one I can't find. I have, which one am I missing? I've got, oh, Bold Gold. I don't know where what I did with that one. So anyway, I've got Tough as Taupe, which is this <laughs> exactly taupe color. It's completely matte completely matte, is a beautiful crease shade, and and what I like about it is it's like a deeper taupe. It's, it's darker than you would think it would be. Look at that. And the color payoff is literally unbelievable. I mean, that is just like, ba-bam. But, moving on, we've got, I've got Bad to the Bronze, which is this beautiful bronzy shade, but the thing is, as these start drying up, and I've I never know how to store them because I've heard you store them upside down and I tried that and they still kind of dried out. So I think now I'm, they're just like however they end up when I throw them back in there because I think I've gotten to the point where I'm like, whatever, if I have to buy a new one, then fine because they do dry up. And I just bought my first MAC paint pot and I got it in, what is the shade? Bare Study. And this one, which is in Barely Branded, is like an, it is an exact dupe. I mean, they are... Look at that though, it's just gorgeous. Now this is the second one I bought of this one because my first one did dry out pretty quick. So that's another thing to keep in mind with these. I almost think you should, instead of buying a bunch at the same time, buy one or two that you know you're gonna use all the time because if you buy a bunch and then you don't use them, they're just gonna dry out. But I can't get over how gorgeous that is. I use it all the time as my base instead of a primer or anything because it's beautiful. Especially if you want a shimmery eye. And my fourth one was Bold Gold, which I don't know where it is, but it's just a beautiful gold shade. And that's, I think, after Barely Branded, the Bold Gold one is my favorite. Okay, so L'Oreal, I have six of their infallible shadows, and a lot of people have sent me these, which is why I have so many. However, they're gorgeous. So, my original prankster was Ice Latte. And this is, I swear to you, a dupe for Stila Kitten. I've done them side by side and I should have, I should do a video on some dupes because clearly I'm, keep talking about them. I'm going to do this right here. It's kind of next to the one I just did, but where is it? <laughs> I'm so pale. That's it right there. Isn't that totally Stila Kitten? It's so beautiful. I'll do a dupes video soon. But I love it. And they basically come in these little containers where there's a little stopper and they're in there. And usually it's pressed down more than that is. But so they are a loose eyeshadow. Did I even mention that they're the infallible? Yeah, I told you. Now, another one I have is Endless Pearl. And it's this essentially just tan or I should say beige color. And this one is um, a little bit of a pearl finish, but it's mostly just, yeah, it's not even showing up on my skin, but I'll just show it to you in here. It's mostly just a matte color. There's a little bit of a pearl finish, but I would say it's almost matte. But it's a beautiful lid color if you're looking for one. And then another favorite is this Eternal Sunshine, which is a beautiful golden color. It looks great paired with Bold Gold, actually. But, oh my gosh. I love this one. See, now I'm seeing this, I'm like, I haven't worn this in a long time. Where is it? Where'd you go? There it is. Isn't that gorgeous? It reminds me of Half Baked. Side note, I'm trying to get the, um, what are these, the color tattoos off, and they won't come off. That's a good sign, though. I mean, this is, um, there they go. 
it's taking some scrubbing. So that's good to know though, you know if you put them on, they're not coming off throughout the day. So I also have this really deep, it's called Bottomless Java, and it's this beautiful deep brown. I don't wear this one as often, because you guys know me, I don't really wear deep, deep colors all too often. I do wear them sometimes, but not all the time. That's Bottomless Java. And then I also have Amber Rush, which you guys, when I had originally started talking about these months ago, well, longer than that ago, um, you guys were like, oh my gosh, you have to get Amber Rush, you have to get Amber Rush, and whoa, look how beautiful. Kind of reminds me of Rubenesque from uh, MAC, but it's uh, not a cream, of course, it's a loose shadow. But these are beautiful, and they're not loose in the fact that when you put them on, they're going to like end up all over here. They really, they're, <laughs> this really is an amazing formula. These are absolutely stunning, and they don't get all over your face. And the last one I have, my friend, I think Karen, you sent me this, right? Um, the Liquid Diamond. Oh, it's so beautiful. They have the most beautiful shimmery shades. Look at that. It's this beautiful metallic silver color, but it's almost got flecks of like deeper tones. It's so gorgeous. Um, so love those. They're not too expensive at all, especially now that they've been out for a while, especially if you can find sales or coupons, which you know I'm always doing. Duh. Okay. What else? All right, a few more things. I'm sorry this video was so long. And I, again, I'm sinking lower onto my bed, as usual. Where's she going? Sit up, Jess. Okay, so another thing where I can't find the fourth one of, it's my Jordana liquid liners. Now, I've got three here, and I also had the purple one. Oh, you know what? I remember I gave that. I, I gave that to someone. Um, but it's the Jordana 12-hour made-to-last pencils. I've done a review video on this, but this one is in Aqua Stone. And what I love about these is mm, they're like $2. And they are so pigmented. They do not budge. They don't smudge. A lot of you guys have bought them on my recommendation and have loved them, and I'm so glad. So the green one there is Jade Jewel. The black one is like Black Point, I think, and the blue one is Aqua Stone. These are stunning, and they really are like $3 at Walgreens. It's insane. And the purple one, I, don't, I think it was called Purple Fix, and it was just a beautiful deep purple. So I would recommend these till the end of time. I love, 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 love them. They're absolutely the same thing as the NYX slide-on pencils, which are like $9, or I don't really know how much those are, or the Urban Decay 24-7. These are the same exact thing, exactly. And they're like $3. Love them. And then also some eyeshadows. I have these all in a MAC palette, and you guys are constantly asking me what is in here. So I have some e.l.f. and some, well, let me show you this. Right here, the shadow. Mm, no. These shadows here are from a benefit kit, so I'm not even going to mention those. Now, this one up here is an e.l.f. one, and it's called Pink Ice, and it's this beautiful creamy beige color. Then I've also got down here an e.l.f. color Sage, which is this green one, which is stunning on the outer corner or crease. This one here is one of my original favorites, which is Wheat, and it's like a shimmery taupe color. And then I've also got... Um, no, I'm sorry. The shimmery taupe color is called Taupe. And then this one is wheat, and it's like this beautiful gold. Do you guys see that on my pinky? It's so beautiful. And then the only other elf one I've got is called, which one is it? It's this one, and it's called Driftwood. Isn't that beautiful? A beautiful shimmery bronze. Now, the MAC ones I have in here, I have one, two. I only have three, but I'll go ahead and mention them since I've got this palette out and a lot of people ask me. So I've got... This one here, which is this beautiful pale gold called Rice Paper. It's my favorite lid color. My friend Amber sent me that one. And then I got Omega. Oops, I just got it wet. Which is this taupe color. A lot of people use this on their brows. That's why I bought it, and then I did not like it in my brows at all. It looked terrible on mine. And then the last one I have is called Sable. And it's this one here, which is this, another beautiful bronze. Sable and Driftwood are very similar. I'm going to hold them side by side so you can see that. <laughs> yeah. This one is the e.l.f. Driftwood, and this one's Max Sable. Max Sable's a little um, more bronzy, I would say, but they're both beautiful. Yeah, the swatches are different. That one is Max Sable, and that one's Driftwood. So they are different, but they look similar in the pan. Anyway, so those are that's what's in here. I know a lot of you guys have asked about that, and uh, now you know. So last thing I'm going to cover are my nail polishes that I have a lot of. I hold on my nail polish in a uh, spice rack that I got from the container store. So, let's see. The ones that I have four more of, I have a ton of SE polishes. And I'm not going to mention all of them. My Again, my friend Amber sent me a lot of the ones that I own, but I have bought a lot 
on my own as well. But some of my favorites, I don't even know if they sell this one. I need to shake a lot of these up. This one's called Yo Gaga, like yoga with another ga at the end. And it's the most beautiful beige color for your nails. They don't look dirty when you wear it. And I, I don't know what it is about this, but I love it. And then there's a lot of the classics like um, Mint Candy Apple and Bikini Sotini that I love. But then some other ones that I really like are Big Spender, which is this beautiful, look at that color. That's one that I reach for a lot. And then also Tarte Deco is this beautiful peachy color. Let me see if there's any other ones. Oh, and I also wanted to mention Dive Bar, which is my first Essie polish I ever bought, which is this gorgeous color. Oh, I love this one in the winter time. So then I also have a lot of these salon manicure ones from Sally Hansen. This is one of my favorite formulas. Essie, I like their color range, but the formula is not my favorite. Whereas these, I genuinely love the formula and the brush. It is a bigger brush though, so if you don't like that, you might not like these. But this is Commander and Chic, which is such a great color. This one is black and blue. I love. Guilty Party is one of my absolute favorites. Oh, and then, oh man. There's so many that I love. And the formula of these are just amazing. This one I like to wear on my toenails a lot. Temptation, just a fun, bright color. And then they also have great glitters. This one's Golden Rule, and this one's Copper Penny. And these glitters are so, like, you don't, it doesn't end up spotty. You know how some glitters, it's like there's a lot of glitter in one part of the nail and not on the other. These are just beautiful when you just one sweep and it's just covered in glitter. I love them. Another one that I have more than four of are these OPI ones. And I actually don't have many of these and I like this formula better than Essie. But this is Japanese Rose Garden, which is one of my favorites. It's just the perfect, nice pink color on your nails. This one is Short Story, which is so fun. I love this one in the summertime. And then another favorite of mine in the winter is Miami Beat, B-E-E-T. I think I ended up wearing this when we went to Miami last summer, my boyfriend and I, um, or last October, actually. I, I just think this is such a pretty color. And the other one I have, I have a lot of the Minnie Mouse collection, which I'm wearing on my toes right now, one of the Minnie Mouse ones, but they're real tiny in there over there. But then this one is Tickle My Francie. It's just a really pretty beige or tan, what color? Like taupe, I don't know, whatever this color is. And I think that's all that I have like four of. Everything else I've only got a few, you know, a sprinkling here or there, but I love those. One that I, <laughs> this isn't part of this video, but whatever. I have fallen in love with this Zoya polish in Dot, which I got in, I don't know, what did we get it in, ladies? A lot of you guys got it too, in the Ipsy bag or something. This stayed on like for a whole week. It was crazy. And I put it on with the same base coat and top coat I always use. And this stayed on for a week. It was like unbelievable with no chipping. I was like, what? So I want to get more Zoya polishes because I was like, Zoya, you have nailed it. And I know that Pink So Foxy here on YouTube loves like only buy Zoya polishes. And now I'm assuming that is why because oh my gosh. So I might be painting my nails with that here in a bit. Anyway, so if you lasted that long, again, I know I say this at the end of every long video, but seriously, I can't believe you lasted. That was a very long video. But I hope it was... um kind of eye-opening for you so you could see kind of what products I really genuinely do love and I go back to time and time again because they are so good that I want more shades. I hope that you'll also, sorry I'm trying to clean off swatches. Again, those those Jordana liners, it's, I'm scrubbing to get them off. This is awesome. <laughs> anyway, but I hope that you'll go check out Kirsten's video. I can't wait to see it and uh, definitely check her channel out because she is absolutely one of my favorites that I She's one of those people I watch every video she puts up. I just love her, and I love her personality more than anything. And I'm sure that you guys will too. So, I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.